What's up? I'm two-time Olympian and world champion speed skater Joey Mantia bringing you five big mistakes that I see people make on their slide board all the time. And of course, I'm going to teach you how to fix them. Now, this is really geared towards skaters that are using the slide board as a technical tool. But if you're not a skater, sit tight. You're going to learn a couple of things that will make you just overall more effective on a slide board and hopefully shed some light on how to isolate some of the muscle groups you might be trying to target when you're doing your slide board workout, whether you have one at home or access to one at the gym. So without further ado, of course, I got to do all the YouTube stuff and say, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, turn on the notifications. I think that's everything that everybody has to say when they're doing videos for YouTube. It's kind of a requisite now. Anyways, now that's over, the annoying stuff's out of the way. Let's get right into the video. Five big mistakes that people make on their slide board and how to fix them. Mistake number one comes with foot direction and the foot direction will tell you what your hips are doing. So oftentimes I see people as they slide back and forth across the board, they open their hip up and lead towards the direction they're going. It's a natural movement. If I'm going to the right, open up to the right and then turn the foot back straight before I get there as I hit the block, something like this, opening, closing, opening, closing. And when I say open and close, this is an open hip. This is a closed hip. That's what I'm referring to because I'm talking about how you're manipulating the socket of your hip to rotate the foot forward or to the side. So keeping the hip closed as you push across and as you finish the stroke, and the stroke is the push, as you finish the push, keeping the foot straight or as straight as possible and keeping the hips closed will help you isolate the muscles that you're trying to use for skating much more effectively versus opening the foot this way, opening the foot this way. You want to do something more like this, where when you're in position, keeping everything straight, feet completely straight no matter what you're doing. That's way easier to think about, in my opinion, than opening, closing, opening, closing, because now all you have to think about, feet parallel to the blocks no matter what you do. Even as you recover and the foot comes around, don't open this up like this. You want to try to keep this foot as straight as possible, and it comes through straight, this pushes straight. This stays straight through the recovery, straight down, and to the side. That keeps you in the hip, keeps everything nice and square and pointed forward. That's where you want it when you're skating. Nice and straight lines with your feet, closed hips. Mistake number two comes with twisting the shoulders and the hips into the direction that you're traveling. Now, I don't know why it's such a beginner's mistake when it comes to slide board that people want to twist their shoulders into the direction that they're going. Maybe it's so they can see where they're going like this, but that's incorrect. Try to keep your shoulders and your hips Always in agreement, meaning if your shoulders turn a little bit, your hips are turning, and that would be for actually skating turns. But in a straightaway type setting, like a slide board is replicating, everything stays completely straight. You can use the side block as a reference, and everything should stay completely perpendicular. If you draw a line straight through your hips, straight through your shoulders, it makes a perfect T at that block. So keeping that perfect T, pushing you to the side, and keeping in mind mistake number one, not letting the feet open up, as opposed to twisting off your push like this or twisting your hip off like this. These are things that you don't want to do. This is twisting really bad and doing it correctly. You would square everything up, keep it straight and just back and forth across the board, making sure that you're keeping nice straight lines. Now, mistake number three is very similar to the second mistake. However, instead of working on not twisting the shoulders and hips, you want to work on not tilting the shoulders and hips. That's a big problem that I see a lot of people do, especially as beginners. They start sliding across the board and they'll stop their body weight somewhere around the middle part and let their legs and their hips and their shoulders all, all lean in a bad way. In skating, you want to lean, but you want to keep things flat as you lean. They lean by tilting and they're anticipating catching on the other side, something like this, tilting the shoulders and hips down to catch on both sides of the board. And skating, that's instant death. You don't ever want to do that, uh, especially in the straightaways as you're catching your strokes. Anytime you tilt your hips and your shoulders, you're giving up efficiency. You're just disconnecting your upper body from your skate and the way that makes the skate slalom work. So as you're going through the slide board, you're thinking, okay, I need to keep my hips completely flat to the surface that I'm working on, which is the slide board. And to do that, you just visualize, keep everything flat, work on engaging the core and keeping the hips and the shoulders really quiet, especially as you start approaching the next side of the board. You're really staying fundamentally strong. You're staying stubborn, not to get halfway and do this. That would be bad. You don't want to do this. Stay in your position. Let the board come to you. Let the side of the board come to you and just hold your position. And when you get there, regroup and go again. 
Mistake number four deals with what part of your foot you use to push off the block to go from side to side. Now, inherently, as human beings, when it comes to running, jumping, we find power positions in the ball of our foot. Everything we do is off the ball of the foot for an explosive movement, but when it comes to skating, that is not the case. You wanna stay flat in your skate and don't push too much on the ball, not too much on the heel. You wanna evenly distribute your weight and your pressure amongst the whole skate as, as a unit. So, same thing holds true on the slide board. As you're going through the stroke from left to right, right to left, you're thinking about dropping your body weight into the middle part of your foot, so right in here versus up in the front, and as you go through the extension, you're trying to keep it isolated right in that sweet spot, not rocking forward or rocking back, but finishing right in the middle of a flat foot. So you're trying to keep pressure against that block evenly as long as you can until it just releases and you start going to the other side. You don't wanna extend and push like this or like this, which was mistake number one, which these are kind of related, but not always necessarily in the same category. But don't push off the toe and push off the toe and push off the toe like that to get a little extra. Keep your foot flat, stay in the hip, down in the board, everything stays straight. Feet stay straight like mistake number one fixes. Your hips and your shoulders stay straight like mistake number two. You're staying flat and level like mistake number three. And now you're keeping your foot flat and pushing right through the middle or letting your body weight work right through the middle of your skate all the time. And mistake number five is not bouncing up and down on the board. Now what I mean by that is effectively when you get into a position for skating, or a position that you're working on the slide board, you don't want your head to go down towards the ground or come up towards the ceiling at any point during the stroke. That means as you're recovering here, you're not letting this come up and come down and up and down. Or if you're sprinting, you're not pushing down with your head, you're not dropping down like this, this is bad. Or the entire body, you don't want everything to come down and come up and down and up. That's a really bad problem because you're no longer isolating. You're just effectively <laughs> giving up positioning, giving up the connection between your upper body and your foot, which is not what you wanna do in skating. You want everything to be connected. You want your upper body mass to be doing the work for you. And that's the game we play with skating. How do we connect everything up here to our foot and let that just work with gravity and the timing of the push to create forward momentum? So one game you can play is to pick a position Visualize your head hovering left and right across. And everything you do from your head all the way down to your foot is a game of playing, how do I hold that hovering position of my head or of my face and, and not let it come down and come up and come down and come up. That you're just locking in and just using the timing and every muscle from your head all the way down to your foot to hold that nice steady position back and forth. Well, that's gonna do it for this quick, dirty tutorial. Five mistakes I see people make on their slide board all the time. Showed you guys how to fix them. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you didn't, let me know what you think in the description, in the comments. Uh, and speaking of description, I'm gonna put a link to the slide board that I'm using in the description. If you're looking to buy one, Burn makes a great board that you can buy on Amazon. It is skinnier than most boards. It's very easy to store. It doesn't roll up. You wanna kinda of stay away from the roll up slide boards. They're, they're kinda of trash. So this is a very high quality slide board and you get what you pay for when it comes to this kind of equipment. So that will be in the description. Um, and I think that's it. Uh, catch you next time.